Now, cold case cracked, a major break in a case that had been cold for close to 40 years. Detectives now know the identity of a skeleton found on the side of a Massachusetts highway in 1985. Turns out he was a Rhode Island man. Detectives now believe the person or people who killed him likely have ties to Rhode Island as well. 12 News anchor Kim Kalunian joins us now live in studio with a story you'll see only on 12 News. Kim. Well, Mike and Shannon, Keith Olson was reported missing from Cranston in 1981. His family eventually assumed he was dead. And even though his body was found just four years after his disappearance, it's taken four decades for them to learn the truth. So we're on Route 195. Massachusetts State Police Detective Lieutenant Anne Marie Robertson drives past the final resting place of a John Doe. The victim was found on the westbound side, about 100 yards past the Fairhaven town line. A male was driving on 195 westbound when he had to pull over on the side of the road and 45 feet into the woods, he saw what he assumed was a human skeleton. The skeleton showed evidence of trauma, a homicide, but offered investigators at the time few other clues about who he had been in life. The, the biggest clue we found was, was the fact that we had a tax stamp on a pack of cigarettes, which gave us an indication that the person was from Rhode Island. Retired state police detective Ken Martin was on scene in 1985, helping to carefully preserve the bones, shipping them off to the FBI lab in Washington, D.C., where a cast was made of the man's face, a picture put into the local papers. We actually had some some uh, clues or, or some insight in some calls, but after checking those out, they, they didn't pan out. With little else to go on, the case went cold. Investigators didn't know that prior to the discovery off 195, four years almost to the day, a Rhode Island man had been reported missing. He was 27-year-old Keith Olson, and his family was concerned about where he was. And it's going back to 1981 that uh, Keith Olson was involved in a, a relationship with a woman. Olson had reportedly been dating a woman whose prior relationship was with a man who had ties to the mafia. Olson's body was never found, or at least that's what his family and investigators thought. Well, it's over 40 years that he disappeared. As part of Bristol County DA Thomas Quinn's Unidentified Bodies Project, detectives sent those carefully preserved bones to a Texas company called Othram for forensic genetic genealogy. And those results led them to Keith Olson's family. They told us that their brother had gone missing in 1981. DNA reference sample confirmed that uh, Keith Olson was our victim. Now the DA's office in Massachusetts State Police are working to find out who killed Olson and dumped his body in Fairhaven. Keith Olson was seen uh, leaving a house in Rhode Island with two men. Investigators say there is a person of interest, the former boyfriend of Olson's girlfriend, a Rhode Island man who died back in 2019. We feel there's at least another person or persons involved in his murder. They're hoping with the public's help, they will finally be able to put all the puzzle pieces of this case together. We're not giving up on these cases and we've made progress, but we need help to make additional progress. Now, Olson's family said his disappearance has long been a source of devastation for them, saying in a statement in part, he has never been, not for a moment, out of our minds and hearts. If you have any information about Keith Olson's disappearance, investigators want to hear from you. Just call 877-MA-SOLVE. For more information on this case or to tell us about one you think we should be covering, just head to WPRI.com. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, 12 News.